to get your camera ready for streaming, all you have to do is open the port cover here, plug in your USB, and then the camera reacts immediately. Bring up this menu, you select PC tether, and there you go, camera's ready. When you open Lumix Tether for streaming, you get this standard Lumix Tether control panel here. This is what we use for controlling the camera features. Um, so here we've got white balance. You can select the white balance that you'd like to use and you can select your um, ISO. Can't change your AF settings because on the camera I'm using, which is the GH5S, that's a physical button. Uh, and that's the same for um, all of the cameras that um, Lumix Tether is compatible with. Lots of other things you can change here, uh, but up here, this is the button that we're interested in. It's the live view. Click that and that will open the live view pane that you can capture um, for streaming to social media or video conferencing. When you activate the live view window, this is what you'll see. You get this control panel down the right hand side here and in the center, you've got the live view streaming video. Obviously, Lumix Tether is set up for shooting stills really. Um, and at the moment I've got a grid on and I've got my level gauge on. But you can turn these off using these buttons here. But what you can't turn off in Lumix Tether is the AF area box. Um, I've got it in face detection at the moment so you can see it's tracking my face around. And um, obviously if you're going to use this for live streaming that's not really all that good. What you get in the Lumix Tether for streaming however is an icon where you can switch that off. You go up to the top left click that button and it's gone. And the control panel that was down the side here is also gone. So we've left with this nice clean uh, video that we can use for streaming. Uh, it's worth going back here to have a look at live view quality. Uh, by default, that will be in standard, um, which is decent enough. But if you click on low, you get a very low resolution uh, view. I don't know why you would want to use that. Um, but you've also got high or fine. So you click fine, you can see that the quality of the image there has improved. Um, and then we can get rid of all the information. And now we've got this window display that we can capture um, using something like OBS. And we can use that for streaming on Facebook or, or social media um, or for using it in Zoom or Skype calls.